talked about fighting, Deck. Yeah. I mean, we talked about fighting. I will fight. These guys fight for me every day. I will fight for them. They got my back. I got their backs all the way. And when you have dual meets like this that are natural rivals, okay, this thing started last night. Okay, this dual meet started last night. All right, and we we're getting ready for this, and I'm glad and I'm proud of the way these guys responded. You know, we added a little extra energy tonight with the Logan Luft in memory of him. You know, any way that, you know, our guys can realize that they're doing things sometimes for a bigger cause. But I just saw what I saw tonight was fight, uh, never say die mentality. I told Balmer, if he doesn't get that call, it don't matter. There's 18 seconds. You're going to get one and you're going to get two. And I was, I am 100% sure that would have occurred. And I love the energy that Mankato brings out of us. Nick's got to continue to use his length, all right? I thought he was a little too tentative. Uh, you know, we wanted to wear on, on Bloom. No doubt we wanted to wear on him. I didn't think we pulled enough shots first period. Uh, so Nick knew that. He was starting to get a little anxious. But, you know, he's, a, he's all about timing. And, uh, you know, we got him to that point where he got to use his length. I thought we were going to score defensively a few times on some of those sprawls. Um, but it didn't occur. That's that length and strength coming in play. You've seen that he's muscled up. You know, that's an All-American. You know, Bloom's tough, just like Abernathy at 84. He's an All-American, but we had a freshman say, I want to win, okay? And, you know, I thought Balmer setting up that double then, uh, getting the energy back. Uh, this is his hometown, you know? I mean, I know he's from West Union. That's just nine miles up the road, seven miles up the road. But he's said this is his gym now, and that's a big statement match for him and a beautiful double. And, and we're just getting stronger with that kid. I guess in a match like that, I just got to go out there and get to my attacks right away. Uh, preparing this week, you know, we knew how good he was and, you know, he could be pretty dangerous, so I just had to get to my stuff right away and, you know, not to respect him, but not give him any credit over myself, you know, know that I'm in position to win and got to go out there and take it. Uh, I never hit yeah. it once in high school, didn't even really know about it and uh, working out with Carl and watching him drill with other wrestlers, I was like, God, that's, that's awesome, you know, yeah. that's a sweet move and so talked to Carl about it a little bit and he's like, oh, that's something, you know, you could put in your uh, toolbox and so I, tr you know, practice it a little bit and you know and I ended up working out there the first time I really hit hit it in a match and it's pretty exciting.